I'm going to make sure my pointy edge and my lead are at the same level. I'm now going to construct a perpendicular bisector. So, what you do is you place the pointy edge on one end of a segment. You make sure your compass is extended to more than half the length of the segment. More than half the length of the segment. This one's going to be a bit tricky. This seems less than half, so I'm going to go ahead and extend it some more and some more and some more. And I'm going to draw an arc. Then I'm going to go to the other end and draw another arc. I am going to connect these two endpoints. And that gives me a perpendicular bisector. I'm going to highlight it. That's one perpendicular bisector for one side of the triangle. I'm going to do the same thing for the other sides. Note, I'm going to have to adjust my compass according to the length of the segment. Always, for perpendicular bisectors, you want your compass to be more than half the length. Arc. arc. Note, they did not intersect, so I'm going to go back to my original vertex, connect, highlight with a pink, second perpendicular bisector. Now the third perpendicular bisector. This seems to be more than half this side. Arc, oops, jumping compass there. Another arc. Connect. Highlight. And you will notice that in this case, the perpendicular bisectors are intersecting outside the triangle. So you will make an appropriate conclusion and look over here. My construction is not perfect, it's slightly imperfect or they would have intersected in a point. But that comes with practice. So make your conclusion accordingly and you will do the same thing for an acute triangle and a right triangle.